Hey, I'm Steve with Prima Coffee Equipment. Today we just wanted to go over a whole bunch of new products that we brought on this year. Uh, I'm going to start right over here with the Brewer Cold Drip Coffee Maker. Now this is a great little product. It's pretty new to the market. Uh, it allows you to make 24 ounces of cold drip coffee. Now that's distinct from cold, uh, cold immersion brews like you might make in a French press or a toddy uh, because it allows water, cold water to drip slowly over a bed of coffee grounds uh, over a period of maybe two to four hours depending on how fine your grind is and how fast your water is dripping. Um, these are great, these are a great alternative to the more expensive uh, and more ornate Yama drip towers uh, that you might see in your local cafe. Um, great for home brewing, it's all dishwasher safe. Uh, we're really excited to bring these on because it's just a high quality product for a pretty low price. Um, what you do is you put your ice and your water up here in the upper chamber, put your coffee down here, it has this stainless steel mesh filter and it comes with a bunch of paper filters as well. You can set your drip rate with this adjustable valve uh, and then you have of course this great big craft and nice little thing is the lid fits tightly into the craft so you can store your cold brew in your fridge for a couple days of course until you drink it all. So moving right along we've got keep cups. These little guys have been pretty popular. Um, they're allegedly the first barista standard reusable cup. Uh, these are, of course, the brew uh, series, which is the glass model keep cup. Um, so if, you've, if you're familiar with keep cup at all, uh, the big changes here are, of course, the borosilicate glass. Um, these are all made in Australia. Um, they also have a newly redesigned lid that helps prevent leaks. Um, it's got a great little mouthpiece seal which pops right off so you can clean it easily, throw it in your dishwasher. Uh, we've also got these special edition cork models uh, that have a band made of uh, sustainably harvested Portuguese cork. Um, these are unfortunately not dishwasher safe. The ones with the silicone bands are. Uh, these are going to be hand wash only. You just got to treat them well so the cork doesn't deteriorate over time. Uh, but these are great. We really love them. We have them in 8 ounce and 12 ounce sizes. Uh, they're a joy to drink from. Um, pretty spill proof. You know, if you shake it upside down or something, it'll spill. Um, but if you're just traveling, carrying your coffee with you on your way to work or what have you, they're pretty great. You know, they, they don't really have a, a leaking problem at all. Uh, moving right along, we have the not neutral Gino Dripper. We've also got the decanters, but I don't have one to show you here today. Now these are basically uh, pretty much the same as a Kalita Wave 185. It is a uh, sort of ruffled filter, flat bottom cone. Um, so you take take advantage of basically all the same stuff as a Kalita Wave will. Uh, you've got your cake filtration um, going on. And because they're, du they're dual wall, you'll have better heat retention uh, than your standard Kalia. Um, but they're not vacuum sealed, it actually has this little rubber foot that you can take right off. So if you get any like steam built up or whatever, you can pop that off, let it dry upside down for easy cleaning. Um, these are really great. We, we, we uh, really like them. We're happy to bring them on finally. Uh, and they pair very nicely with the, the decanter, which is also a dual wall glass. Um, wish I could show you that today though. Uh, we've also got a new product called Coffee Sock. These are uh, organic cotton cloth filters for both the Chemex 6, 8, and 10 cup, as well as the Hario V60. Uh, this is sized for the 02, but it's compatible with both the 01 and the 02 filters. Um, these are great. They come in two packs. Um, they're reusable, washable, rinse. Uh, you just rinse it after you brew. Um, made right here in the United States. Really high quality, they're a nice fine cotton and they're actually uh, dual layer, so there's two layers of cotton filtration. Um, which is a, a nice contrast to the typical flannel that you might see that lets a little bit more sediment through, a little bit more oil, you'll get a little bit more body to that than you will with this. But otherwise they're fairly comparable. You can use them for a couple hundred brews if you take care of them uh, carefully. Uh, we suggest just rinsing it out after every brew, um, get all the coffee out and then every Every so often you can give them a rinse, or a, a soak rather, in um, and kafiz or joglo or some, some kind of coffee solution. It'll help restore the color, get rid of the coffee oils, and eliminate any off taste that might build up over time. Next up, you have these little innocuous tubes of uh, solution. This is Global Customized Water AB Formula. Uh, now, a little unassuming here, but 
What this actually does is it converts a gallon of distilled or reverse osmosis water into something that's perfectly formulated for coffee and tea brewing. Um, now we we actually used these at uh, the SCAA Expo this uh, this past April. We really loved them. We use them for our brewed coffee bar. We just you know just squeeze each tube into a gallon of distilled water and you're good to go. You just give it a shake, um, and it's perfect. It's just a, a couple of different uh, minerals. Um, meant to balance out your water so you get kind of the ideal extraction and flavor with your coffee brew. Um, really convenient, I mean if you're in a if you're in a location like a farmer's market or something where you don't know that you'll have access to filtered water, you don't want to bring it with you, you just bring a couple of these guys, pick up a, a couple of gallons of uh, distilled water and you're good to go. Um, so we really liked it for that and we'll probably use it again next year. Now. The crown jewel of what, what we brought on recently. This is the Hario Copper V60 and Buono. Um, these are solid copper. They have a uh, nickel plated interior. The kettle's got a, a nickel plated interior as well. They're also clear coated so they won't tarnish over time. Um, you got a brass handle here on the V60. You got a chestnut handle on the lid here as well as a brass handle on the Buono kettle. The Bono's 900 milliliters, the V60's is size 2 only. Um, they're kind of, they're limited in variety, but they're really great. It's a very like sexy looking pair, honestly. Um, a, a great showpiece item. Um, you know, they're a bit more expensive than your standard V60, but these are really meant to kind of be like the, the, the showcase item. Like if you got a brew bar or something, you got three of these, everybody's going to be looking at your coffee service. They are just beautiful, especially when you got the pair of them together. Um, I think finally we've got the v, or the uh, Malconic K30 Air Espresso Grinder. Now this this little guy is basically this, the same as the K30 Vario uh, Espresso Grinder that you'll see uh, as the official grinder of the United States Barista Championship. Um, but it's got a, a couple of different features that uh, can make it stand out on its own a little bit. So you have the same 3.3 pound hopper up top. You have 65 millimeter flat burrs with stepless adjustment. It's really easy, just unscrew, set it left or right, screw it down, tighten it up. Really easy to adjust. You have uh, programmable time dosing features. Uh, you just use your little uh, potentiometers. You can go and change your menu settings for single and double doses. Um, there's a momentary switch right here, so you just set your port filter in, it'll dispense your dose. Uh, it even actually has a, um, a setting so if you were to stop your dose and say settle your grounds or something, you can hit the button again and fill up the rest of your dose. It'll just run the timer down from where you stopped before. Um, but what's unique about this grinder is uh, the cooling features. Now, this, this particular model has a fan on the back that's basically running constantly to keep the grinder uh, grind chamber below 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, now what that means is that you'll you'll have a little bit more consistency in your ground coffee. Your grinder will not be overheating as much during uh, high volume uh, periods where you know you got a line out the door and you're grinding espresso back to back to back. Uh, in our tests we ran the K30 Air and the K30 Vario side by side. The K30 Air ran almost 10 to 20 degrees cooler with extended periods of grinding. And that means that you're not adjusting your, you don't have to adjust your grind to compensate for uh, the heat buildup. So your espresso doses are going to be more consistent throughout the day. Uh, it's a great addition feature. Um, there's there's some updated electronics in it as well to help kind of run the, the fan system and keep everything nice and cool. Um, but we really love this. We actually use these uh, when we go to trade shows as well. And, we love the consistency out of them. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same as the Vario, uh, just you know the, the cooling features which you're starting to see with more and more commercial espresso grinders. So that's about it for our new array of products. We're bringing, we're looking and are looking around and bringing stuff in all the time. Um, so keep an eye on our website. But uh, just wanted to touch on basically some of the products that we're really excited to bring to you this fall. So thanks.